tell you something. You sounded so much like Brad just now. Uh, sorry. What did you want to say? Oh, I... I... I uh, saw a bird this morning. A seagull. Or, or something. Oh. That's nice. I heard Ford was looking for you. He's up top, over in the warehouse. You know... <laughs> looking for Ford? He's over in the hey. warehouse. You're sure he's got something you? going on. Always Nora does. Camarillo. I keep folks alive around here. You know, you're lucky they found you when they did. Your friend was pretty bad. I got her just in time. She's great. A real spitfire, that one. I'd uh, hang on to her if I were you. Like what? Listen, I don't care what you two are. I'm just saying, don't lose it, whatever it is. That girl's tough, all right. But right now, she needs rest. When she's up and about, I'll make sure you know. What you got? What are you trying to say, sunshine? <laughs> well, no need for that. You know how a doctor gets good at her craft? That's it. Same way you get good at anything. You learn a thing by doing it over and over again. For me, that means people who need my help. The more people there are suffering, the better I get at healing them. My grandfather... He'd been treating folk his whole life, nearly as long as the Roots been around. I started assisting Gramper when I was five. Dressing wounds, making meds, cutting at the table, you name it. He was. He helped more people in his long life than you and I have ever even met. But how I helped him most was digging through the old hospitals. Even after a century, there's a hell of a lot to find. All of it useful to someone as clever as Grandpa. <laughs> Tons. The old humans knew a lot about the human body, it turns out. Stuff even Grandpa didn't know. Did you know they used to be able to replace a man's lungs with someone else's? Or put a dead man's liver in someone whose liver didn't work anymore? <laughs> to think of all the folks Grandpa and I could have saved if we had that kind of know-how. There's plenty if you know what to look for. Most of the basic meds are long gone. But there's still plenty of specialized tools and ingredients there. Stuff no one knows what to do with but me and my grandfather. What they don't got, what I never found once, is a cure for root rot. That's why so many folks died when the root first showed up. Grandpa had to invent a treatment on his own. A treatment, not a cure. He probably wasn't the only one. I'm sure others came to the same solutions independently. But after Grandpa figured it out, he traveled as far as he could and taught it to everyone he met. I don't know where he started. But I reckon every treatment within a hundred miles of here is derived directly from his work. You can thank him that your friend is still alive. Came here maybe ten years back? My ma had died and Grandpa didn't feel safe carting me around the countryside by himself. It turned out good. The city's full of scrounge and Grandpa made a living selling bandages and meds while treating folks for free. I do the same. He even attended the old commander when she passed. Couldn't do much for her except ease her going. But folks around here thanked him for it. Made us part of the ward and all. All right. Well, all right. Need anything else, Sunshine? Knock yourself out. around. 